This guy next to me, his wheel pops and he loses control. I had to slow down so he could miss me. There he is. So there's no heating cause a good one. So the blower motor won't run on heat mode, but will run on cooling mode. Chief of Operations, Harry Irvine is already on site. He's troubleshooting the problem. He's just gonna get this on film so we can show the uh, you know the uh, owners. Because this is a corporate building and also for training purposes. So we called for heat and we watched this heat sequence and blower motor did not come on. Harry says that he checked the capacitor, he checked the circuit board, checked the continuity across all windings, no shorts to ground, everything checks out. He noticed that there's a wire missing at the circuit board and that wire reads 24 volts when the heat sequence is calling for a blower motor. He also noticed some wires dangling off the blower motor that were not connected. The blue and red wires, which are fan speeds, which are used to start the motor during heat mode. Someone took out the ECM and they put a standard motor in here. Okay. That's what happened. So they, they must have took out the board. Indoor fan motor. There's your uh, ECM. This is your ECM. That's your common. Uh, oops, switches back out. So when I energize my gas valve, that will come on, this will close, that will come back on, turn on that contactor, go back into the W. So this one right here, I need to put a wire from here, and I need to put another contact, a relay, I need to put a relay here. Okay. And we need to get a wire from here. Okay. To go on the side of the relay. That side of the relay. Okay. No problem. Yeah. This number three, so you're gonna take a, a blue wire. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna take this blue wire. For the heat? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta turn on the blower. So we're going to energize that blower. You need to put it on number one, uh, three. Okay. 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 And then on number one, you're going to have to piggy tail number one with this. You have to put a piggy tail. Yeah, one of those little jumpers? Yeah. So all we're really doing is replacing that small relay inside the circuit board since we can no longer use it. So listen carefully. <clears throat> you're gonna put a blue uh, wire nut here. Yeah. And you're gonna run a piece of wire through here. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna put it on the number three. Okay. This blue goes right here. Okay. Okay. Yep. This number one, you're gonna put a piggy tail on number one mm -hmm. and run a black wire over into this. Okay. Now, am I, is this gonna, Am I going to remove this and replace it with that nope. or just stays? Nope. Oh, that stays. You're, you're going to just stay. So what he's saying is he wants to move that existing relay up and out of the way and place the new relay under it. Move this up first. You're going to put this right there and below. The, the common, you need to uh, put one of those bait connectors here mm -hmm. and go from here yeah. to here. Okay. On this side, get me a piece of wire from here to inside of that molex exactly okay that's where that one make go. sure that stays in there exactly no, i'll figure out a way that's no big deal and you make that no big deal oh uh, that's it uh, no that's problem. totally it man white brown and blue wire that's a one control that's going to go there okay, okay yeah and then you need to put a jumper from here That's a brown wire. Okay. All right. Got it. 
So this here is a new circuit that's going to power the blower motor on heat mode. This here represents the wire that's missing on the circuit board. So the relay on top is the existing one that I just moved up. The one on the bottom is the new one. Motor here got switched out. See this one? missing which goes to the indoor fan and I put a wire in there which is 24 volts that is we get another relay just like that put it down here for the heating all right so I got my other relay here so we're I got the uh, piggyback spade on there, so I took this out of here, put the piggyback spade, now I'm hooking this black one back, and I'm gonna take a black one from here, to from one to one. That's my first step to fixing this problem here. So I'm just gonna crimp this on there, and put it right there next to that one. So the top part of the relay is 240 volts. Each leg is 120 volts. I'm going to send it down to the bottom relay so when they call for heat, it will allow the blower motor to run because it will receive 24 volts from this circuit here during the sequence of operation, which will energize that coil right there and close this, this normally open circuit right there and allow 240 volts to flow to the blower motor, which is that blue wire. All right, so I got my spade on there. Now it's hooked up. Now I'm gonna put another one on this side and hook it up right there. Get one of these, boom. Okay, I got my other piece on there. Uh, hook it up right in there. So the top relay will receive a 24 volt call during cooling mode and this one will receive it during heating. I know it's kind of hard to see with all the other wires in the way. Ran a black wire from number one to number one. Right. That's the first step. Now I'm going to run a wire from this. I'm going to hook this white wire. Just run it through in there like that. And I'm going to wire nut this. And I'm going to put the other side on number three. This side. Okay, so I got my wire nut there. Got my wire on this side. I got the spade on there. There we go. Hook it up to number three. So that's going to energize the blower motor when we call for heat. Step two. Now we're going to run the common from here. We're gonna put a piggyback spade like this one and put it in there and then put this brown one on one side and then run another wire from here to here which will give us our common all right so i got my piggyback spade on there now i'm just gonna run a wire from one side of the, of the relay to the other okay so i got the piggyback on there and then i'm going from there to there Common. Sorry, I had no brown wire. This is our common for 24 volts. Let's see what else we need here. Now for the final piece, we got to get a wire from here to here. To the inside of this Molex right there. Shove it in there and make it stay in there somehow. Okay, so I got the wire in there. I used silicone and I taped it. I used silicone, I pushed it in real good, and then I taped it to other wires so it doesn't pull back. Then I ran the other side of the wire to this relay, which is my 24 volts. For heat, we had no uh, lower motor. During the heat mode. We did that with uh, relays, and now let's see if we get blower motor action. We got inducer motor, we got flame. Next is the blower motor. Let's see if the problem is solved. Thank you.
Turn the heat mode only on cooling mode. It, it was not the capacitor, it was not the blower motor. It was actually a wire that was pulled out of here. When they pulled out this blower motor, someone changed it out. And they did not use OEM parts. Found out that there's a wire here that was missing. So all we had to do was add a relay. Which replaces the relay inside the board. By running a wire from here to here, which is 24 volts, and it will energize this relay. It will close the normally open contacts and it will allow 240 volts to flow to the blower motor. That's why we took that blue wire and we placed it on the top portion of the relay. So the bottom part of the relay is uh, 24 volts and the top part of the relay is 240 volts. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.